Hi guys! I hope you enjoyed the previous video with the logo animation in ToonSquid. Today I want to show you how I made this FedEx logo animation. First, we'll make a rough draft for the arrow, then add the letter animation. Next comes the cleanup stage and color filling. By the way, if you want to support my channel, then like this video. And if you want to support it in some other way, then check out the sponsorship levels in my profile. So, let's create a new project. In the settings, I have width and height 1080, frames per second set to 12. Click Create. Expand the timeline. I saved the logo from the internet in advance, so let's post it to the composition. Next, use the Transform tool to reduce it. Something like this. Now let's stretch its duration to 3 seconds. Now open the Properties panel and apply Transparency. Now we will draw the guides. We choose the red color. I take a rough brush. I have the smoothing percentage set to 28%. This logo is known for the fact that the letters X form an arrow in empty space. So we use this. The arrow will appear on the side and make a loop in the air. I began by drawing a guide along the height of the arrow. This will already be the moment the movement stops. I also mark the final border. Here, let's draw a loop like this, so that the arrow would move forward towards us. And the second part, mirrored. After that, there should be lines for the arrow to appear. I draw the back part a little wider, and on the left, the arrow increases again. To fill the space, I also draw vertical guides. This is not a storyboard for speed, but simply for understanding the space. Super! Now by analogy, we apply transparency to this layer and create a new one. It's time to make a quick sketch of the arrow. The corner of the arrow will always be in the center, and we stretch the remaining parts along our drawn rails. To see adjacent frames, turn off the onion skin. I draw plus or minus evenly. It will be a little denser where the arrow flies behind. Then we draw a bend like this. Ok, a couple of frames from the front. Now we draw a bend back, and then we draw the approach to the final point. When we almost reach the finish line, we first draw a slightly flattened arrow, then stretch to the left, and only then the final version, based on the logo. Look at the preview. In one place, the movement seems too slow to me, so I delete the frame. If somewhere it seems too fast to you, then add intermediate frames. It is important here to make sure that the speed is pleasing. Let's move on. Create a layer and choose a new color. We proceed to drawing the letters. The movement will be from top to bottom. We 
We make letters that will bounce coolly when landing. At the moment of takeoff, we stretch the letter and also bend the horizontal lines of the letter upwards. Then we make a rebound. Just like on the arrow, first draw a flattened frame, then stretch it up. Another frame down, but smaller. And the final look of the letter, based on the logo. Watch the preview. I want to add another frame before the appearance. Like this. And let's go to the timeline and stretch the last frame to 3 seconds. Watch the preview. Now it's important to adjust everything so that you like it. I'll add another intermediate frame at the end. Excellent. Now we make the letter E. Create a new layer. Start drawing the appearance of the letter from above in the same way. Next, in flight, stretch the letter. It's okay if the letters intersect, but you shouldn't make the intersection too strong. At the moment of landing, repeat the bounce. Draw several frames alternating flattened and stretched letters. The main thing is that the bottom one stays exactly in place. And draw the final position of the letter. We also stretch the last frame and watch the preview. I like it. Now the letter D remains. As you already understood, we create a new layer and draw the appearance. Everything is by analogy. We draw the appearance, stretches at the moment of flight. And then we make several frames in bounce. Here I decided to add a few more movements to the right and left for the vertical part of the letter. The last frame is also stretched to 3 seconds. Look at the preview. It turned out quite dynamic. Now let's move on to the X part. Here we will make the appearance from transparency. But for now, on a new layer, we simply outline the letters in a different color. Open the settings keyframe by clicking on the icon below. Here we are interested in the opacity item. We set the keyframe first and a few frames ahead. Then we go to the first keyframe and through the property panel reduce the transparency to zero. Also, let's select the easing icon and select quadratic. This will affect the acceleration and deceleration of the animation. Look at the preview. Let's make it a little faster. For this, I move the second keyframe closer, and I move the beginning of the frame to the left so that the appearance occurs earlier. Fire, guys. Now we turn off the guides and the logo and look at the preview. Our draft is ready. Well, I want to say that was the hardest part. Let's create a new group and move all the layers there, except for the logo. Next, we begin the cleanup stage. We need to make a final, beautiful outline. To do this, I save the logo colors in the palette using the eyedropper. And set the transparency back. OK, let's discuss the options. The smoothest will be using a vector. This is a super option, where you can draw everything in detail. But I want to do this through a raster layer, since I want to use a rough brush. You can also use a raster smooth brush. Here it's up to you. I want an effect with texture, so I'm not choosing the easiest way. So, our task is to draw the outline over our arrow draft, 
using the method you chose. What's important? So that the outline is already perfectly smooth. Well, or the way you want to see it in the final animation. Let's speed up a little. Super. Now, on a new layer, draw the letter F. By the way, I take the colors from the palette. Next in line is the letter E. Repeat the drawing, refine the outline. And the letter D. Everything is by analogy, guys. So, now it remains to draw the outline, for example. On a new layer, draw a smooth outline. So now it remains to draw the outline for X. On a new layer, draw a smooth outline. Now we need to repeat the keyframe animation for transparency. Call the keyframe settings, set two keyframes, and through the properties panel, set the value of the first to zero. Look at what a clear outline we got. And what is left for us? Of course, this is to add a fill to the figure. In the vector version, you can do this through the right panel. With a raster smooth brush, you can use the fill tool. And to add texture, I simply paint over it manually. Of course, I can use the fill tool, but look what a terrible option it turns out to be. So here we have routine work waiting for us. Let's speed up until we've filled in all the elements of our logo. And this is the result I got today. How do you like today's review? Do you like the logo animation tutorials? If so, let me know so I can continue in the same spirit. I hope it was useful and interesting. Let me remind you that the source for this and other animations can be obtained through sponsorship on my channel. See you in the next video.